Pic Collage is an app that can be used to create photo collages, interactive posters, and more. This video will show you how to use Pic Collage on your iPad. Open the Pic EDU app to get started. Select how you would like the Pic EDU app to access your photos. Tap Let's Start. You will see three canvas options. Grids allow you to choose elements and quickly snap them into a template. Freestyle allows you to start from a blank canvas. And Templates provides a set of pre-created templates for different projects and occasions. We will focus on creating a collage in a grid. However, many of the tools and features transfer seamlessly between grid, freestyle, and templates. Consider your final product as you select your grid layout. At the top of the grids menu, you can select the dimensions, and in the middle, you'll see you have lots of different options with different amounts of elements that can be included in your grid. Consider how many elements you need to include in your collage when deciding on the dimensions and templates. Select the dimensions and layout of your grid to get started. When you begin editing your grid, you will see a menu of options across the bottom of your screen. If at any time, as you edit your product, you decide you need to change the dimensions or layout of your grid, tap the layout menu. From here, you can resize and change the layout. Tap the green check mark to go back to your main menu. Change the background of your grid from the backgrounds menu. Here, you can select from solid colors as well as different patterns. You can also use the image icon to bring in images from your camera roll or the search icon to find an image from the web. Note that these web searches are not copyright friendly, so keep that in mind as you're searching. Once you have selected your background, tap the green check mark to continue. Tap the photos icon to bring up your camera roll. Note that the photos menu allows you to bring in images, videos, and GIFs that are saved to your camera roll. You can select multiple images from your camera roll to bring into your grid. Once your images are selected, tap the green check mark at the top. This will snap all of your selected images into the layout. Drag and drop your media to rearrange it where you want it. Pinch to resize and place individual components and tap an individual image, then tap the edit tool in order to bring up additional options, including removing the image. If you'd like to add back an image, you can tap the individual component space to bring up the photos menu just for that space. Once you have the main components of your project embedded in your collage, Tap stickers to add additional elements. Select from a library of stickers to add meaning to your canvas. Swipe for additional sticker packs. You may be asked to download the components. Tap free download. Once you have your components selected, tap the green check mark to add the selected stickers to your canvas. Just like with media, you can drag and resize stickers on your canvas so that they're placed just where you want them. Add text to your canvas with the text icon.
Once you have added your text, tap the icons above your keyboard to edit your text to look just the way you want it. Select the font that works best for your canvas, then tap the color palette icon to bring up additional editing tools. You can change the color of your text and even add a background by tapping the background icon. Use the color dropper to match the color to any element in your canvas. Tap the ellipses to bring up additional options, including alignment, outline, and the size and width of your text. Tap the green check mark when you're finished editing. You can drag and drop and pinch to resize your text, just as with other elements on your canvas. While there is a web image search option, the images are not copyright friendly. Therefore, it is recommended that you use copyright friendly sources such as unsplash.com or pixabay.com to find images. These images were found in the Unsplash app. Tap Doodle to add your own drawings to your canvas. You can change the size of your brush stroke as well as the color. Use the eraser tool to remove any doodles from the canvas that you do not want to include. Doodle even works with your Apple Pencil. However, if you prefer to draw in other apps, such as Sketches Pro, you can draw in those apps, export those drawings as images, and include them in your canvas that way as well. The final menu option is to add animation to your canvas. Animation provides a series of choices for how any elements on your canvas can be animated. Take some time to explore the different animation options to bring your work to life. Make a mistake? Don't worry. Use the undo and redo buttons at the top of your canvas. Once you are ready to publish your collage, tap done. In order to share your project with the world, tap save to library. Your collage will be saved to your iPad camera roll. From your camera roll, you can view your final product and share it. The world wants to see your amazing Pick EDU creations.